Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we are in West. And what else would we check out in West but Czech food? So we're at the Czech American. Whenever we stop in West, Slovacek's is where we gas up and get our favorite kolaches. Now the barbecue is divine here. But if you're looking for something a bit different in this town known for its Czech heritage, then the Czech American is the Czech mark you seek. I love to make people happy when it com comes to food. Janine Geringer owns this laid back eatery that's been in her family since 1980. This has been my only job. I've been here forever. <laughs> <laughs> so has some of the help. Her friend Mallory has been with her for over 20 years. Marcy the cook has spent 25 years here. What's it like to have that camaraderie, to have these people with you for so long? It's, it's an amazing feeling because I, I think they kind of like me. It's <laughs> yeah. a good thing. I'm a great boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's because she's done it all for as long as she can remember. Janine has been washing dishes, bussing tables, and putting Pivo in pints. Oh, I can barely see over the bar, <laughs> like reach the bar, yep. My dad and all his buddies would be sitting at the bar, drinking, having a good time, and dad would ho holler at me, Janine, go grab us a beer. So <laughs> ran back there, barely set it on the bar, but. <laughs> <laughs> guess there were no TBC laws back then. Huh? No, I guess not. <laughs> And then I would go run back around the bar and stick my hand out and they'd all give me quarters to go play the video games in the back. Put in your paycheck right away, huh? <laughs> <laughs> her mom Patsy was the patriarch of this place and was well known for her perfect pies. Thank God for her because she has taught me everything I know. So it's, it's all up here. <laughs> when Patsy passed away in 2015, Janine was adamant about keeping that tradition alive. It hurt my feelings to make my first pie. <laughs> really? Yeah, it, it was kind of tough. She took such pride in making them pies and the meringues that tall. Are your pies as good as your mom's? I would like to think they are. <laughs> <laughs> the other popular dishes here consist of anything Czech. Seriously, anything. Had to feed the people what they're used to. You can't beat those kinds of, of, of foods. Well, when it comes to Czech food, you know sausage and sauerkraut are going to be involved. I do like the sausage and kraut sandwich. I'm getting it sandwich style in something called the Bohemian. Will it make me sing a Rhapsody? It may. It's pretty tasty. <laughs> All right, we're going to make a Bohemian sandwich. All right, that's the hoagie bun. That's my hoagie bun. Marcy gets my sandwich started by butter in the bun. Just put a little bit of butter on there. Yep. Last time I saw a butter jar that big was when we did the uh, Hubcap Grill butter burger. Well, I'll make you a bet before the day's over as I fill it again. <laughs> At least you said the day and not the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> While the bread grills up, Marcy throws on some pepper jack cheese and then goes for the pot of gold. You got your pot of sausage right here, huh? Yep. Once sliced, the sauerkraut comes into the equation and mustard is added to the sandwich. Some uh, house-made spicy mustard? <laughs> French <it. laughs> The one thing they do say wee 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 to is sausage. Man, you guys don't skip on sausage. Nope, that's what makes it so good. Mike from Antonini's always says adds another slice, but I guess here you guys add another sausage. <laughs> Once the sandwich is ready, Marcy whips up some Czech fries, which starts with sliced potatoes. This is our special Czech fry seasoning. Okay. Cannot, cannot tell you what's in it. Oh, fried onions. Yes. Well, that's different. Oh yeah, put a little bit of butter on them. Oh, just a little bit. By a little bit, I mean half a cup. <laughs> That was not a half a cup, but okay. <laughs> and now my meal is complete. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Looks delicious. <laughs> Thank you. So here you have it, the bohemian sandwich steaming fresh off the grill from Marcy and the smell coming off those potatoes and that seasoning is sensational. So we're just gonna pick it up and uh, can't really smell a difference in the kraut, but uh, we hear you can taste a difference. That is absolutely amazing. We never leave here with anything left on the plate. <laughs> the kraut definitely has a little sweeter tinge, but it's not overpowering. It actually complements everything very well. <laughs> it's piled so high. Oh yeah. Well, at least you only have to go all the way to West Texas for this sandwich and not all the way to West Texas. I like the taste of it. You know, I married a Czech girl because I figured she could make an Irishman some potatoes like this, but uh, honey, where are the potatoes like this? Uh, the Czech fries are really good. That's my favorite. And of course, you have to uh, finish things off with a little bit of pie. Holy moly. Everything on the menu here is excellent. That is amazing. 
Wow. Knowing they're going to get something good to eat makes me happy. Well, if you're looking for the perfect check mark, coming to the Czech American and West is well worth a stop. Thanks to the Bohemian sandwich, those Czech fries, and that incredible coconut cream pie. Definitely a filling and fulfilling stop on the Texas bucket list. Come to West, enjoy some good food and good beer and, and a great Czech heritage.